Hi, I'm James. I used to fly and uh, based in the UK, I thought I'd give my comments on some of these crashes we see. This pilot does a great job of putting the aircraft down with the engine failure into the sea. Uh, obviously, with so many people and children on the beach, it would not be a viable option. The downside with ditching is the fixed undercarriage will dig in and most likely flip the aircraft. But he saves a lot of lives by not going onto the beach itself. Well done to him. This is very strange as he is landing very close to the edge of the lake and to the people and jetties and pontoons. Uh, his better bet would have been to head towards the centre, have a much shallower glide slope. But clearly in this accident, his glide slope is way too steep. Last few seconds, he slams on the full power to try and go around. But his glide slope is just terrible and results in this, uh, uh, un this accident which could have been prevented completely. What a shame this beautiful biplane uh, crashed. You can see he's landing into the wind, which is correct. The engine note uh, is very quiet, so it appears the engine was on idle. He hit the threshold before the runway, which uh, caused the issue. Not by much, but just enough. I imagine the picture he had from the cockpit as to the runway, he was not very familiar or was inaccurate and um, pilots use the picture they have from their seat in relation to the windows as to gauge where to land on the airfield. Each aircraft will have a different window picture as to where you should be placing the aircraft on the runway. I imagine this pilot was inexperienced in this type of aircraft to get this picture so wrong. As pilots, we should always expect and plan for an engine failure and have a, a field or a location to land and, or aim for. Uh, one plus side for this guy landing uh, is that he did avoid the cars uh, and the houses. So he did his best with what he had. Still a very hard landing. Hope he uh, was okay. This is a MiG-23, which is a mid and late era 1990s uh, Soviet aircraft. The particular accident, the pilot reported that he had no afterburner after takeoff and the airspeed was decreasing. The ejector seats are interesting as they're KM-1, which do not have a zero-zero capability, which means that they have to be flying at 90 knots or higher. As the aircraft uh, banked to the left, heading back towards the airfield, the uh, uh, co-pilot noticed the speed decreasing and initiated ejection for both pilot and co-pilot. Uh, the pilot was not ready to eject as he was focusing on flying the aircraft and it was the decision of the co-pilot to initiate the ejection. Uh, in the end, it saved both lives. No people were, were hurt on the ground. A good solid landing here on the highway. Pilot did well in this train and aircraft. I don't know what type it is. I don't think it's actually German. But uh, he did a good job landing with the traffic and no injuries were reported. A terrible situation for this pilot and passengers in this commercial aircraft. Clearly with the black smoke, uh, there is some fuel leakage. The undercarriage on the right-hand side has collapsed or not deployed. Uh, he's managed to keep on the runway itself. And one of the reasons it's very important to listen to your pilots when they tell you where to evacuate. Obviously, evacuate left side of the aircraft. 
uh, port side would be the instructions of the pilot to the cabin crew. Well done, done a nice job. Wow. It appears there are no level fields to land by, so the pilots made the choice to uh, ditch into the lake near as he can to some uh, boats for rescue. It appears that his glide slope uh, is very steep. He hit it very hard. Uh, that's my main criticism on this one. Uh, survived the accident and then survived the water. But um, this is very hard uh, impact. This is a beautiful Fairchild C123 provider uh, transport aircraft. It was designed for short takeoff uh, and uh, unprepared airstrips for troop landings and light cargo usage. Uh, it's a great aircraft, and the pilots here did a fantastic job. It's very forgiving on unprepared terrain, and as the pilot uh, departs the runway and goes over rougher ground, he uh, maintains a brilliant balance for the aircraft and prevents the, the uh, wind, wing tip strike. Good job. You can see in this instance, the pilot gets too low and his right wing hits the tree and takes off his uh, right air along, uh, obviously losing control um, quickly after that. Uh, terrible when they're doing such a great service uh, in fighting fires. This is a Su-25 Soviet ground attack aircraft built like a tank. Uh, in this instance, he clearly cannot get his undercarriage down, which is slightly unusual as they are hydraulic and have a two system set up hydraulic and also emergency gravity fed. Uh, once landed, he deploys his uh, uh, chutes to slow him down. This is a beautiful Beechcraft E 18S. The pilots were actually taking off with a tailwind of seven to eight knots and on a shorter runway. In addition, they were following in the wake turbulence of some other aircraft recently taken off, uh, which is believed to have contributed to the uh, plane not being able to get enough speed uh, before the runway um, ran out. They then aborted the, air, uh, the takeoff and uh, the resultant crash, as you see. The pilots exceeded the maximum speed allowed for this aircraft and as a result the controls were ineffective uh, when they tried to uh, complete the turn and uh, regain level flight with the resulting uh, serious crash. Certainly that's one way to land an aircraft, albeit very heavy, and your engineers will not be very happy with you after that once they inspect the aircraft. A great example of a super landing in a very heavy crosswind. Pilots do very well to maintain uh, direction onto the runway and bring it to a safe hold. Good job. This is a wonderful hurricane from the Second World War era. As the pilot lands, you can see his starboard wheel has a puncture and or, and or deflates when he lands, which then causes a tire to disintegrate and a prop strike just at the very tip. He retains control and brings it to an amazing halt. These are invaluable aircraft and fought in the Battle of Britain. This is a Soviet Mi-28 doing what Soviet air crew like to do best.
I hope you found some of my insight into the short clips uh, interesting. Uh, if you haven't found it useful, please like and subscribe. Uh, my last clip is of a V22 Osprey, which has a very checkered history. Um, was designed as a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, which can transition to normal forward flight, but it's had a very uh, poor safety record with numerous deaths at present. In tw early 2024, it is grounded. Um, I'm not sure they will get to the ground the bottom of why fully it's uh, failed so many times but it has caused a lot of deaths of uh, military personnel around the world uh, my heart goes out to all those families and uh, deceased pilots